Okay, it is time for the news for the week ending February 24th, 2012. I'm a long while. One of the big stories this week, Bleach! A couple of stories about Bleach, actually. Uh, the first there was a kerfuffle about the ending of the Bleach anime. Don't worry, it's not ending. Uh, it was announced that it is changing its time slot. It's ending its run in the 6 p.m. Tuesday time slot. Uh, and there will be uh, presumably a new time slot later. But uh, it was announced that it's ending its run. And everyone assumed that, oh my gosh, it's ending. It's not ending. It's just changing to a different time slot. Don't know what the new time slot is, but it will be somewhere else. Uh, starting in, looks like, starting in April. So the, the, the slot will change for those who care about this thing. The other big thing was the fact that uh, there was an announcement in Variety that Warner Brothers has licensed Bleach for a live-action Hollywood film. And everyone begins crying uh, tremendously. Um, Warner is developing the project and assigned Dan Mazzeau, who wrote the Last of the Titans remake to write a script, um, Peter Siegel, who wrote the remake of Get Smart, as well as the remake of Longest Yard, and Anger Management is attached to produce, so who knows, he may direct as well. Um, other producers, Michael Ewing, uh, Masi Oka uh, from The Heroes, um, and Jason Hoff from The Terminal, uh, over Viz Productions, which is a uh, subsidiary of Viz Media. So, uh, so, you know, it's like any other Hollywood thing, and before anyone speaks out, I mean, these things get, get uh, uh, licensed and optioned and written and then abandoned all the time. So, this is not saying there will be a bleak film, that the Warner is, you know, they pay the money for it and they're, they're pursuing it, and we'll see where it goes. But this will probably end up the same place that uh, the, the Rewalk movie, um, live action movie, ended up, which was basically nowhere. I uh, think the movies, though, The Borrow Ariety came out um, last weekend, and its third tally for the past weekend was $8.68 million US. It's not a lot, but not too bad. It ended up at the number eight slot in theaters. So, eh, not a failure, but certainly not a big success. But fortunately, it, um, that is you know, pretty decent. So, uh, you know, it made some cash. If you haven't seen it yet, this is the latest Studio Ghibli film. Well, actually, not quite. It's um, the next to latest Studio Ghibli film. And uh, what was the little film? So, uh, we'll to check out. In slightly wackier news, uh, Mercedes Benz will be offering uh, folks rides in Madoka Magica cars. I am not making this up. And uh, basically, if you want to ride a car that kind of looks like another Master character, you can, look in the lower, the bottom of that image there. Uh, yeah, so they've got these sort of Minoka Master cars that will be showing in Japan, obviously, not, uh, not you know, anywhere else in the world, no, that is. Um, so basically, you can kind of do kind of a, a Minoka Master, it, it's weird, I don't know quite why they're doing this, but hey, whatever. So, um, that is, that is that. Uh, they announced that basically, um, this will be at the Japan Media Arts Festival in on um, starting in February twenty second. So so is this now, and um, you can test drive the wrapping cars for free as long as you have a uh, driver's license and a Mercedes Benz connected card membership and twenty years old and all that kind of stuff. So uh, yeah, Minoka Magica wraps cars just because Magica is that popular. Uh, speaking of cars and Moe characters, the new Moe style radar detector will be released in March over in Japan. Uh, Yuka Taylor Corporation has announced that they will be releasing the second in its line of Moe radar, Moe radar detectors. That's actually not a joke. Um, basically, these are uh, GPS units that have Moe characters on them, so you can actually uh, listen to a Moe character tell you how to drive, and uh, even slightly creepier, um, uh, the system allows users to acquire items by controlling certain conditions and unlock new costumes and dialogue for the character Kirishima there. There's also a night drive mode where users can invite the character on a late night drive. So basically, uh, you know, the character talks as though she is in the car with you while you're driving around at night, which that's, that's just weird. Uh, so we're moving on to licensing news. Sentai Shameless has announced they have licensed the second season of K-On! So that's not a big surprise, but sure enough, the second season of K-On! will be coming out. It will be available on DVD and Blu-ray. The OVA is has been licensed as well. Um, and it will be coming out later this year. So all you K-On! fans, the rest of it will be coming over. 
Meanwhile, running over to the manga side of the fence, the manga bestseller from the New York Times for February 12th to 18th was released, and Bleach is back in number one with volume 38. Um, for the second uh, week on the list, uh, it's been the number, uh, number one title, followed by Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, 5D number two, Bakuman Blue Exorcist 20th Century Boys, cool. Uh, Pokemon Adventures, The Story of Sign Koku, Kamikama Kiss, Nagima, and Sailor Moon, Volume 3. So, no big surprises there. And th- that is basically the news from this week in Anime, uh, the Anime Manga World. So, that's about it. Hope to see you all next week. Thanks for stopping by.